16 hours, a child dies from neuroblastoma, a cancer almost always found in children. Unless doctors are given new drugs to treat them, many more will fall victim to this nightmare disease. Meet Roman. He suffers from stage 4 neuroblastoma. Roman's doctors have given him a 33% chance of survival. Neuroblastoma is a tumor of the of nerve cells, but it's not a brain tumor. It's a tumor that generally arises in the uh, center of your adrenal glands, the glands that sit on top of your kidneys, or in little clusters of nerve cells that are on either side of your spinal uh, column uh, in your chest and abdomen. So about 80% of the time it's an abdominal tumor, it's below the diaphragm, and 20% of the time it's in the chest. When we first found out about Roman, um, that day will be a day that we'll relive over and over again forever. Um, it will be a day that will go down as the worst day of our lives. Uh, it's hard to think about that day when we heard about Roman's type, when they diagnosed him with, his pro with cancer. We are going along great, living the American dream. New house, new job, two beautiful children, wonderful wife. My son was diagnosed with cancer. My world completely came to a stop. The question for Roman and his family is, will there be a treatment in time to save his life? There's no finish line in the work of science. The race is always with us. The urgent work of giving substance to hope and answering those many bedside prayers, of seeking a day when words like terminal and incurable are potentially retired from our vocabulary. The journey to find cures for cancer and other diseases often begins at the National Institutes of Health, a major funding and research partner with university medical institutions around the country. In order to sustain this, uh, our research efforts, we really need funding from the uh, NIH or other national foundations, so we have to cobble together the funding to really sustain our research effort. The road to developing life-saving therapies continues in America's biotechnology companies, many of them innovative startups that depend upon private investment for their survival. But it takes many years and millions of dollars to develop a new drug to meet an unmet medical need. Specifically, you begin at the research stage, you'll look at a, a whole range of compounds before finally choosing one compound that you'll move into clinical testing. Once in clinical testing, we look for both safety and efficacy before we can finally file with the FDA request for approval to sell a new drug. The one thing that we look for more than anything else is reducing elements of risk. So having a secure patent policy, having a secure investment policy, having a secure tax policy, having a, a secure technology transfer policy is very important for us so that we can focus on the true biological outcomes that make a difference in people's lives. While biotechnology companies work to find Roman a successful cure for his cancer, they must also rely upon strong patent protection to spur new thinking and innovation. Only with reliable patents can scientists move on to the next phase of research and clinical trials. Biotech investing is very risky. Without the assurance of strong patent protection, it becomes more risky, such that without the assurance of strong patent protection, investors are going to put less money into biotechnology innovation, and the money that they do put in, they're going to ask for a greater return on, uh, in other words, a higher risk premium. So you're going to have two effects. There's going to be higher cost and less innovation. Roman, of course, is not the only child facing this deadly cancer. Here at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, there are many more children battling this disease every day. Little Trey is one of them. The time is now because this is real and it's, the, the cure is real and it's, it's, it's right there in front of us and if we could just get there, you know, with that little bit of extra, I mean, it's there, it's real. I mean, you can see by our son that he's not dying today. So. There is a cure and it's real and it's, it's going to happen, but it can't happen without the extra money and it can't happen without everyone's focus. This particular 
gene encodes a protein which is uh, already being targeted by the, the biotech industry with specific small molecules or drugs that inhibit its activity. And this, at least for some of the neuroblastoma patients, will be a, a very effective and probably uh, very non-toxic approach to treatment. Biotechnology scientists work every day to try to find treatments and cures for diseases like neuroblastoma, but they can't do it alone. Roman's family and thousands like his all need to know that everything possible is being done to find cures for these diseases and one day be able to prevent childhood cancer. The fear of losing him is just unreal and off the charts and we drive a fine line um, of happiness for the kids and maintaining a, a, a quality at home, knowing that our world at home could explode in any given time with the relapse. So living with that fear is, is it's, it's daily life for us.